Hi, welcome back to Making Sense. Hope you watched last week's video where we were starting to talk about the stay-at-home mom and her money. Last week we talked about the agreement. What was the agreement when the both of you in a relationship came to the decision that the woman or the man even should stay home to look after the children. And we uncovered that when the agreement is not there, when the decision was in some way coerced or manipulated by somebody else, there will be resentment. When people rock up and they made the decision by themselves, there will be resentment. When there's an unfair burden placed on one person, there will be resentment. So today we want to talk about whose money is it. So the decision has been made somebody is going to stay home the most likely the woman to take care of the kids but there's an income coming in so the man is working he earns a salary or business income wherever the income comes from given that this decision has been made hopefully by two people whose money is it yeah now a man gave me this insight that when men, when the entire burden is placed on them to provide, to sacrifice, to make sure everything is running, they also feel that whatever success comes along is theirs. That was direct from a man, yeah? And women, I can understand this from women's perspective because the women who've also been given the burden, majority of the burden of raising the kids, they also feel certain decisions are there. So you can't come and say, no, my kid is going to be a lawyer or they're going to go to this school when 90% of the time has been spent with the mother who has raised them. So I think it works both ways. And I think it's understanding what the responsibility is and the entitlement because of that responsibility. So whose money is it? That income that is coming in, it's a single income family now. Whose money is it? Is it yours or is it ours? And even in those two separate dynamics, what are the boundaries regarding that? So let me tell you about Mary and Jack. This is a client of mine I worked with a while ago, and this is a success story about how they handled this. So Mary was working, Jack was working, and then the kids came along and they jointly, please note the word jointly, made a decision that Mary should stay home to look after the children so what they then decided and this is not in one sitting they decided they went through a tug of war they went through many fights before coming to this realization that in order to save their marriage yeah in order to save that very family that mary sacrificed her career for this is what was going to have to happen yeah that income ours okay jack goes to the office earns the income when he earns it, Mary gets a salary, Jack gets a salary. Do you hear those words? Salary, salary. Yeah. Then, after that, the rest is used for joint family responsibilities and joint family savings and investments. Now, not many couples have, have reached there because the money is still treated by the income earner as it's my money and from my money i decide what to give you and if it, if that is the reality for you as a woman are you okay with it nobody can tell you what to be okay with it but are you okay with it or are you struggling with it if you're struggling with it you've got to face the truth like mary told me she was never going to be okay with that it's my money and you give me at your whim what i ask for yeah there has to be structure to it because she came from a job where at the end of every month she was earning money that she had control and independence over so that doesn't go away instantly and i think for jack the mindset shift was even though it's me showing up in the office this is now going to be for joint purposes besides that's the entire reason they said stay home and raise the kids so because it is about the family okay so that's a good story but it means both parties understood that we are both bringing something to the table it means mary's role in spending time with the kids and being a homemaker was given the appropriate value there is time any woman who manages a household whether you work or not and raises children it is a job sometimes harder than your day job 
So it had to be given value. But this is also what happened later when the kids were grown. Mary spent her time also looking for investment so that their joint portfolio could grow. So it was not a forever. At some point, she didn't go back to work, but let me spend my time doing our share portfolio. Let me look for plots of land. Let me deal with bonds. Let me deal with insurance companies so that she actually became the manager of the money.